Hi there, this is Dr. Pan, recording from Tucson, Arizona. This is the last portion of four-part series on trig using trig clues, let's just call it that way, to find the exact value for other trig functions. So let's get started. We're given that theta is in quadrant two. So let's put a little error here, knowing that we are in quadrant two. We're giving a weird that's called tangent. I don't really like this function. I don't know, it just looks weird. Um, here's our theta is in quadrant two. And we're given that cotangent theta is minus, and in quadrant two, of course, it's minus. We'll put a quadrant two here. Uh, it's equal to minus 55 and 3. So here's my reference angle. Cotangent is this arm first, so minus 55 radical and 3. Pythagorean theorem says this one is 55 plus 9, which is 64. Hey, I like that number much better. It's 8. Okay, so our little reference triangle, let's redraw it out here. It does require one more step, but hey, on the test, if this step save you some points, I would say it's well worth it. Okay, so here's my reference angle. All right, we are asked to find sine theta, so it's a plus minus, we don't know yet, uh, sine of r. Okay. Now let's decide if it's a plus or minus. Sine of the angle, the, if it's plus or minus, is decided by y sine, which is really saying y is decided, y value decides by the, decides the Sounds like a t tongue twister almost. The y value of the terminating arm decides the sine of the sine function. Oh, what a tedious way to say it. All right, so in our second quadrant, this is a positive sine of r. And then one more place, sine of r using our little reference triangle there is equal to 3 over radical 55. Uh, not 55. Why do I keep on doing that? Let's see if I can make it 8. Oh, this got to be the ugliest 8 you ever seen. Okay, let's make it a little prettier. 3 over 8. There, much better. Sine theta is equal to this. All right, we're also asked to find secant, which is 1 over cosine. Now, incidentally, the way you remember this one is S and C is always crossed, i.e., when you're looking at a cosecant, it's 1 over sine. Okay, so the two never meet. So it's either S or C. And if it starts with C here, put S over there. Anyway, back over here, it's 1 over plus or minus, we don't know yet. Okay, and uh, cosine of R. And then let's decide. Cosine. The way I remember is crossing, which is remind me to say that cosine of r is decided by x value of the terminal angle. I don't know about the word terminal. It always reminds me of terminal illness, like cancer or something. It uh, gives me a glo gloomy feeling. X value of the terminating. Uh, arm or side. Okay, all right. So back over here, x in our quadrant two is negative. So I have one over negative cosine r. Cosine r using our reference triangle is radical fifty-five over eight. Okay, since it's one over, we're going to take reciprocal. So eight on top, radical fifty-five on the bottom. Let's make. This one a little prettier by rationalize the denominator. So we have minus 8 radical 55 over 55. That's the secant theta is equal to this. All right. Well, this is the final portion, as I said earlier, of the four part series. You're more than welcome to go back and look at the other ones if this one is not making sense. And it's my sincere hope that this problem or this type problem will never give you any trouble anymore. It's it's not hard. It just have to have a process. All right?
I hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube for this uh, video and let me know if you liked it or if it helped you at all. Alright, until next time, have a confident day.